Welcome back to the build of the Junkmeister. After much prevarication, I've finally decided on a colour scheme, and it's actually a preserved Junkmeister uh, in the UK. The actual colours involved will become evident later on, but the base colour is this grey that you can see on the fuselage, and I've applied a coat of paint to that which is drying at the moment. Now the nice thing about pigments is that we have uh, an internationally recognised code for them so that you can get consistency in colour. And this particular colour is RAL7040 and this grey base coat uh, will become the basis for the design. There's quite a bit of um, bright orange in the scheme which is appealing. And what I'm using to actually get that pigment on, the medium, it's emulsion, household emulsion paint. Um, this particular brand, uh, it's not an expensive one. Four pound for that tub. Um, it goes on remarkably well. I'm very, very impressed with the coverage. I'm using a soft brush to apply it, a one inch brush. And the coverage, uh, is very very pleasing and the covering itself takes to it really well it'll take I think about two coats of this paint and um, when the insignia and the uh, other color pattern is added to it it will be over sprayed with an automotive lacquer which is resistant to petrol and is, as this is a petrol or gas uh, model that's pretty important. So I'll just show you a little bit of it being applied and how well it goes on. It takes it nicely to the fabric. There's no gapping. And of course the fabric has been well sealed now. And this will give it you know, it's fairly thick, but you can stretch it quite a way. Thin layers of paint are better than th uh, thick layers. I had thought I would need to water this down, but in fairness, I'm really quite impressed with, with the coverage. And you can see it gives a rather pleasing colour. Obviously it dries in a slightly different shade but I can be confident that if I run out of this paint, which I may well do, it's a big model, I'll be able to get a matching paint without any difficulties. And it's also available in what would be uh, normally expected as modelling paints so for military modelling and so on I can get the exact same shade in any of the other paints which is obviously really useful I did think it wouldn't take to the plastic parts that I made here but in fact it did so there you go there's coat one of what I think will actually be two coats. I may not use these hinges in the end, that's why I'm not really too bothered. They're not glued in at this moment in time. And in fairness, it makes it easier to handle with them applied. There you go. I'll keep you informed on how things go and how the rest of the painting scheme comes along. Bye for now.